Okay, in this video we're gonna take a look at a way you could use to save some uh, space on your hard drive. Now, when you install something using the Synaptic Package Manager, uh, when you install that, whatever software it is, uh, it will keep the installation file, the dev file, that it used to install that software in, um, in a folder called the cache. And that, that file is not really needed for the program to function. It's only stored there that uh, for in case uh, you want to reinstall that program, it doesn't have to go back to uh, the repositories online and get the files again. So it just gets it from the cache and reinstalls it without having to um, search for it on the internet. And that will use some space. So I uh, will show you a way here you can use to, um, to change that. If you go to your Synaptic Package Manager, and go to Settings, Preferences. Uh, you will get this window here, and from here go to the Files tab. And as you can see here, we have the temporary files, and we have three options. The default one will be only delete packages which are no longer available. So when you uninstall a program, it will delete the, the package for it. But what if we, we don't want it to keep the package while the program is installed? This is not going to affect the uh, the functionality of the program. Uh, to do that we have to choose the lead downloaded packages after installation. So it will not keep the installation file for it and that will save us some space. There's also another option uh, which is uh, leave all downloaded packages in the cache. I don't recommend this one because it's gonna use uh, a lot of your hard drive space uh, for no reason. And uh, this will depend on how many software you install and the cache is going to keep growing as you install more and more uh, programs so that if if you need more space or you want to save your uh, hard drive space I recommend that you choose the lead downloaded packages after installation. Alright, thanks for watching.